Hi, Gary. It's Katie Kennedy. I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Um, it's impossible for me to pick just one memory as an SPTC kid because of all the time that I spent there. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for not only teaching me how to swim, but for the innumerable life lessons that I learned from you throughout the years. So congratulations again on your retirement. Um, I wish you all the best. Hi, Gary. This is Sam Christensen. Congratulations on your retirement. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done for the tennis club. And I'm very grateful for everything that you taught me about swimming. Also for giving me my first job. I hope you enjoy a well-deserved break and I hope to see you around. Hi, Gary. Emma, UT here. Just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for everything you've done for the tennis club. Uh, you've made such a profound impact on so many young people. My favorite memories growing up were spending my summers at the tennis club, lifeguarding, coaching the diving team with you. So thank you so much for all you've done and congratulations on your retirement. Hi, I'm Anna Gleason. I haven't been around for quite some time now, but I was the diving coach and lifeguard from 2011 to 2013. One of my favorite memories from the club, or maybe least favorite memories, was having to take out the lane lines every day before diving practice. And Gary, I'm sure you remember how much I struggled with this, and you always gave me such a hard time. Um, I'm so sad I couldn't make it tonight, but congratulations and have a fun night. Hi, Gary. Alice Clausmore here, now Alice Tessar. We're out in Colorado. Um, this is my four-year-old son, Brooks, and we just want to say congrats. Uh, lots of memories from the swim team. Can't wait to get Brooks uh, swimming and working on his crawl. Hey, Gary. Zach Brown. Just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement, and thank you for believing that a kid who literally did everything wrong as a small child could end up being a successful lifeguard. Enjoy retirement and I hope to see you soon. Hey Gary, Grace Scorpio here. Congratulations on your retirement and thank you from all of us for all that you've done to make the tennis club such an important place and community for so many people. As my first boss, I owe it to you for setting the bar high for all my current and future professional endeavors, and uh, I blame you for my lifelong craving of those cinnamon crunch bagels. So thank you again for all that you've done and enjoy your retirement. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye, Gary. Hey, Gary. It's Matt Nicholson. I just wanted to say congratulations on the retirement. I wasn't sure this day would ever come, but... I'm really happy and, and hope you now have an abundance of time to do more things that you love. You know, looking back, there's no doubt that many of my you know, best memories are growing up and eventually working at the tennis club. Um, and a huge reason for that is because of you and your contagiously positive energy. Uh, and it kept us excited to come back every single year. So, so thank you for everything and and congrats on the retirement. Happy retirement, Gary. Never thought I'd see the day, but it seems like it's rolled around and it's definitely well-deserved, so congratulations. My childhood at the tennis club, I can say without a doubt, were some of the most formative experiences in my life, whether it was you know, meeting some of my best friends uh, that I've ever had in my life uh, through the swim team program or, you know, working at the tennis club, teaching swim lessons, learning so many valuable skills that I've been able to apply in so many different places, unexpected places in my life. Um, and I'm just so thankful for the role that you played, the massive role that you played in all of those experiences. And last but not least, I learned a valuable lesson from you to uh, keep my hair short. I'll never forget one day biking home after receiving uh, considerable uh, advice giving to cut my hair. I was biking home and someone shouted at me out of their blue Chevy truck, get a haircut. And uh, so it's been two years since I've grown out my hair. So hopefully I'll stick with that one. And 
Well, congratulations, Gary. Happy retirement. Hi, Gary Gray. It's Kristen Showholm. Congratulations on your retirement. Although I do feel for those young kiddos who don't get to have you in their lives. I don't think back on a memory from summers as a kid and not think of being on that pool deck at 8 a.m. and that crazy whistle and your big hugs and overall just your incredible presence in all of our lives. So congrats again. I hope you're doing something incredible in this next phase and know that you're always in my heart. Sending huge hugs. Thanks. Hi, my name is Annie, and I just want to say a huge congratulations to Gary. You have been such a huge part of my life, and I will never forget the many amazing memories that I have shared with you, from you teaching me how to swim, to cold mornings for swim team, to eventually me becoming a member of the team and working below you as an employee, and then working with you when I was head guard a couple of years ago. It has been such an honor working with you and you're really going to be missed thank you for everything happy retirement gary it's crazy to think that after all these years you are stepping away this is your final season i wanted to thank you for providing such uh, incredible experience for me as a as a child as a coach uh from bagel relays to sharks and minnows at our picnics I always had so much fun and you did a great job at making sure everyone got included and involved while emphasizing fun and teamwork. And I want to thank you for the guiding voice that you provided while I was you know, shouldering the responsibilities of a new, my first job ever as a lifeguard and then swim coach and learning how to comport myself in a uh, responsible manner. It was truly a foundational experience for me. One thing you never taught me though, was how to separate myself from these mountains. I mean, come on, they're just gorgeous. All right, I'm, ha I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Enjoy. Hi Gary, it's Rose Wright, AKA George. I will never forget my first ever swim lesson with you about 25 years ago. I was so scared and I was crying so hard that I couldn't even tell you what my name was. You told me that if I can't tell you my name, that you were just going to have to call me George, which you proceeded to do for the next 10 years until my time on the swim team was over. I am now a teacher myself, and I like to think that the reason I became a teacher is because I had such wonderful coaches and teachers such as yourself throughout the years. Thank you for everything that you did for the St. Paul Tennis Club and the swim team in particular, and for your many years of service. You made such a big impact on so many children. I hope that you really enjoy your retirement. Bye. Hey Gary, it's Jane Adams here. I wish we could be there to celebrate with you, but congratulations on your retirement. Tennis Club won't be the same without you. Uh, but really want to introduce you to my son, James Murphy. Call him Murphy. And he's in the middle of a swim lesson with his uncle Jack. Jack, you want to take it away? Okay, Murphy, remember this. Over the head, arms back, up to the ear, catch up. Hands together. Hands together, arms back, over the ear, catch up. You remember that? <laughs> Congratulations, Gary. I wish we could be there to celebrate. It really won't be the same without you. Hey, Gary. Congrats on your retirement. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there, but I did want to thank you for being the best boss and coach and teacher that I've ever had. I would not have admitted it back then, but you making me swim butterfly in those swim meets definitely made me a better swimmer and probably a better person in the long run. Um, I still don't like swimming it, though. Um, the club won't be the same without you, but I've personally watched you set up hundreds of kids for success with your lessons, including how to run an entire tennis club on just zip ties and duct tape. Um, I hope you have fun with Lynn and the family up at the cabin in the coming summers and maybe some rest and relaxation before your next big cabin project. Maybe. Um, I'm looking forward to grabbing coffee with you when I'm in town next, and I will see you soon. Hey there, Gary. This is Ed Gadiant. I'm just uh, wishing you a congratulations on your retirement and thanking you for all your work at the St. Paul Tennis Club, um, both when I was a swimmer on the team and when I was working maintenance 
Um, so you're always a, a patient and an understanding person. And one memory I look back on fondly was always the year end awards where you had certificates for all of us. And it was always very individualized for us. And I think it was really nice that you were able to remember and notice things about everybody. And I'm a teacher and I've even coached swimming now at my high school. And it's something I look to as a model and an example. So, so thank you. Congratulations. Um, and that's it. Hey everyone, it's Steven. I'm out in Connecticut. Uh, I started swimming with Gary when I was five. And after swimming on the team from eight and under all the way through big and ugly, I worked uh, every shift I could possibly get my hands on until I was kicked out in uh, 2011. One memory of Gary that never fails to crack me up is watching him teaching beginner ones on some cold summer morning and one of them inevitably started to cry to which Gary would say no singing in the pool <laughs> and after that he would tell them to look over at me and inform them that I used to cry way worse than they did when I was their age and that I turned out okay so the crisis was averted and lesson continued and I can't tell you how many times I saw some, some variation of that. But I guess this all goes to show that Gary really had a tried and true method and it worked on all of us. And by hook or by crook, lying, stealing, or cheating, he was going to turn you into a swimmer, whether you knew it or not. So congratulations, Gary, on a well-deserved retirement. You've done an outstanding and admirable job and you'll be sorely missed. Congratulations on your retirement, Gary. I'm sorry I'm not there to celebrate with you in person, but I'll be back in St. Paul in August and I'll stop by the club to see you then. There is so much to thank you for, from teaching me and so many people in St. Paul, not only how to swim, but how to be comfortable and have fun in the water, to giving many of us confidence at a young age as employees. You taught us how to be good team members. You taught us how to take ownership over things. You gave us skill sets that will last us the rest of our lives and to which I credit any degree of professional success that I see moving forward. I'm sitting at my desk right now next to my hot list and there's a part of me each spring when the weather turns that wishes I was going back to the tennis club to work on a hot list with you. I think my favorite memories at the tennis club are early mornings rolling the clay and getting the club ready for the day with you. The reason I enjoyed those mornings so much was that I had an opportunity to see how you prepared the club to be such a special place each and every morning for the people who had an opportunity to share in it. You poured your heart into that place and the people who enjoyed it. and. As those mornings wore on, the little rats would come pouring in through the gate and half of them were still asleep, but they all had the biggest smiles on their face when they saw you, whether they were getting ready for frigid swimming lessons or a bagel relay or a game of sharks and minnows. And really everyone who came through that gate who saw you had that same smile on their face. Everyone who had a chance to know you as a student, as an employee, as a friend, is better for it. Your departure is going to be the single greatest change the tennis club has ever seen, much more significant than any remodel or any other change that the club has undergone in its 100 plus years. I think when people look back several years from now, they're not going to remember when the club was remodeled necessarily, but they will remember when you were teaching and they're going to remember what you gave to that club and to each of us to make it what it is and to make us who we are. So congratulations on your retirement, Gary. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. And we will look forward to celebrating with you soon. Hey, Gary, it's Aria. I'm calling from New York and I just want to say happy retirement. Also, special message from these folks. 
Hey Gary, thanks for so many years of helping out with our kids. You were wonderful. Happy retirement. Hey Gary, <laughs> thinking about you. You take care. Have a great retirement. Bye bye. Hey Gary, happy retirement. Um, we love you and thank you for everything you've done. I hope you have a great time being retired. You've earned it. Hey Gary, I just wanted to pop on and say thank you so much for everything. Um, ever since starting swim team at a late age of 11 or 12, um, it's never escaped me. I'm still doing swim team, or not swim team, but swimming in the pool at my college. Um, can't escape it. So thanks for everything. Hi Gary. Happy retirement. Thanks for all the years of fun at the club. You're the best. Thanks so much for being just the best boss, you know, teaching us how to be adults and work and, you know, just so easy to be around. I really hope you enjoy this time relaxing, hopefully, and we love you. Thanks, love you, Gary. Gary. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. It's your oldest grandson. Um, congratulations on 38 amazing crazy years here at SPTC thank you for giving me my first job here at 14 for teaching me how to swim here from the minute I was born pretty much for creating so many forever long memories with you and our family here I can't believe this day has finally come but you know, you deserve nothing but the best and you deserve all the relaxation and you get you deserve to get the sleep in a little bit. <laughs> I love you, Grandpa. Hey, Gary. Happy retirement. Um, thanks for all you've done for all the kids here at the St. Paul Tennis Club. I know many and many people have learned how to swim and you've helped them grow both as swimmers and as people and you've taken a lot of folks under your wing. Um, in terms of coaching and passing on lessons here and there. So thanks for all you've done over the years. And from my one summer coaching swim lessons with you in 2011, um, it was wonderful and um, happy retirement. Enjoy your time. Hi Gary, it's Bridget and Mo. And we just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. We're so excited for you. And thank you for everything. You had such a huge impact on our childhood. We wouldn't have been swimming without you. I know I for sure wouldn't have. Uh, so just thank you so much. And we're so excited for you and this ne next phase of your life. Yes. And like Maura said, thank you for making us the swimmers that we never knew we were. Um, and thank you as well for giving me my first job. Um, you taught me so much about responsibility. And um, I think we can both say that you made us better people. Uh, thank you so much. And enjoy it. Bye. Hey Gary, Catherine the Great here. Um, congratulations on your retirement. This is such exciting news. I was reflecting on what I heard a lot of the other kiddos say at the at your party. Um, and I used to think that it was a really unique experience to have my first boss be the person who taught me how to swim. And I realize there's got to be at least 50 kids who had the exact same experience. And, and how special is that for all of us? Um, it's, it's unique to all of us within that community. Um, and they all mentioned the work ethic that you instilled in us, which I think is really special. Um, but there's something else that I wanted to make sure that was recognized. And those were the, the awards that you gave each kid at the end of the season. Um, you made sure that it wasn't just the fastest swimmers um, that were recognized. It, it was that everybody got some sort of recognition for what was maybe even like idiosyncratic parts of their personalities. Um, you, you made us feel seen, you made us feel valued, you made us feel appreciated for, for what was different about us, um, what stood out. And um, it's taught me a lot about what it means to be a member of community. It's that you, you, you value people for the things that they bring and you make sure that that is celebrated. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I feel like you've taught me to be a better person. Um, and I see the qualities in my siblings as well. And I can, I see you in them. 
Um, I'm at my cabin right now. I know you're going to have lots of cabin time in your future too. I'll be really excited to connect with you in future summers, have our coffees, our annual coffees together. Take good care. Hi, Gary. I hope you enjoyed the video, the party, and all um, the pictures that we've been able to send along. Uh, I just wanted to end this video here with a little thank you from me. Um, I said a lot of what I wanted to say at the party itself, but again, thank you for being my first job, um, for being the best coach and um, the best mentor we could ever ask for. Uh, it's been truly a blessing and an honor to grow up um, and to be a part of the tennis club and to be a part of your tennis club. Um, thank you so much for everything you've given all of the kids. I know how much they're going to value it. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing what you do with your retirement. And I, I hope that you um, enjoy it, um, take advantage of it, because it is so, so well-deserved. All right. Thank you, Gary. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.